Hey everybody, it's Sam back once again and it's now time for another quick video and today's video is about the Galaxy S3 or the Galaxy S2 which one would I choose and why? Well, it's not an easy answer in all honesty it boils down to a few questions one is price what is your price? if you don't have a price and it's gone on contract and you're going to go for a high-end contract get the Galaxy S3 and the reason for that is for one, it's faster it's got a better camera and I personally like the bigger screen you know, the screen quality on both of them are they both fantastic but I would pick the Galaxy S3 just purely for the bigger and the high definition screen it's an easy choice for me in that respect if you're thinking you're going to go pay as you go which for people in let's say America and other places is basically you know you pre-pay um, and it's where you've not got a contract you just you know, kind of pay as you go then that's a bit more of a difficult one you know and again all goes on price if price is a factor you can pick up the Galaxy S3 for about £300 now um, on pay as you go so £300 against about £500 there's a major difference if price is a factor then the Galaxy S2 is still a very very fantastic, you know, it's a fantastic device it's a very capable device it's still probably one of the fastest phones out there even though it is now what like 17, probably 17 or 18 months old nearly it still beats most of the new phones coming out today so Galaxy S2 could be a clear winner but again, if price is no issue, you have to go Galaxy S3 if you want that bigger bigger and better screen, a better camera, and all in all, just a better experience, you know, you get the whole new features, which some of them may come to the Galaxy S2, but likely they probably won't. You know, it has got its ice cream sandwich update, but it's not got all the Galaxy S3 features like Smart Stay, the cool ripple effect, you know, just to name two of them. Um, I know the ripple effect's not really a feature, but it's a cool, you know, it's a cool uh, kind of aspect for me personally. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking to modify your device, Galaxy S2's probably got the best, you know, support out there. You know, to actually put custom ROMs, custom kernels, it's got the best develop developer support behind a Nexus device. Um, so if that's kind of like one of your main aspects, then Galaxy S2 is probably your choice. But then again, the Galaxy S3 is getting a lot of the developers going over from the Galaxy S2. The honest answer is, choose the one that you feel like you want. If you want the latest and greatest, it has to be the Galaxy S3. If you want a phone that's not going to break the bank as much as the Galaxy S3 would, but you still want a very capable device, the Galaxy S2 is again it's that would be my choice. You get the Galaxy S2, you know, for a pretty decent price now, and you're getting a lot of low-end contracts as well, we know. In America, I don't know what the contract prices are, I think they're all about $200 regardless of what phone you get. So get the Galaxy S3. But in places like England, then at the moment you can get like a Galaxy S2 in like £20 a month. Whereas the Galaxy S3 is generally about £36 a month, or around £30 to £40 a month. So you're going to pay nearly, you know, nearly double the price in some in some places. And again, it all boils down, do you want the latest and greatest, or do you want to save some money? If money's the, you know, if the money's kind of the aspect, get a Galaxy S2, you will not be disappointed. Trust me, it's still one fantastic device. Anyway, people, that's it for this video. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. I appreciate you watching this video. If you like these kind of videos, you know, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And go follow me on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullum. And I will see you in my next video. Cheers, everyone.